Hi, welcome back. Hope you're keeping well. Um, I'm just on my way across to get my camera trap. Uh, it's been out for a week today. Uh, it's been out, been out since. Um, I've just got to get across this river in my wellies. Uh, and we've had a fair bit of rain in now, but we've had a fair bit of rain in the last 24 hours and I don't think I'm going to get away with this without without getting my feet wet. But anyway, let's give it a go. No, it's gone over the top. I should have brought me waders. Tell you what, it, it's so slippy. There we go. That's, that was difficult enough. Empty handed. I've got to try and get back across with all my gear in a minute. But there we go, we're over. We're over. <laughs> right, well, I'd say the, we the weather has been absolutely awful. I think we've had one of the wettest winters on record. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Just getting myself stuck. Uh, I can say I, th I think we've had one of the wettest winters on record. It's been absolutely awful these last few months but um we're just coming up to british summer time the clocks will be going forward this weekend so let's hope the weather picks up with it yeah uh, i've had the camera trap set up like i say for a week now and i've had it set up for something a little bit smaller than the badges i thought I'll have a try at something else instead of the badgers. Oh, I had a breath. Right, I'll just put a few nuts down for my little feathered friends. I usually put one or two down for them. Just to keep them, keep them going. <coughs> and I put one or two down for the badgers as well. In one or, in one or two places around here. So uh, I'll just top them up for them. I like just just to put a few around. Not enough that they're getting dependent on them. It's uh, just a few to keep them keep them interested and keep them in the area. Really, just a little treat for them. The, yeah, this weather has been so grim. Ooh. Everywhere's absolutely soaked. Right. Bear with me, I'll just put a few nuts here. I've got two or three places where uh, I put nuts down for them. You might, you might recognise this spot from my last from my last video I had some really nice shots of the badgers up on top of that bank and uh, I had my camera trap out uh, what would it be a few weeks ago now uh, I had it set up just just down here which is a spot I've used before but just look at this this is this is woodland you wouldn't expect woodland to get flooded um, like I say, a few weeks ago I had my camera trap set up here and I, I had some really nice images of the badges from here which I'll put up for you now.
I have to put a stone on top of them because otherwise a squirrel will just come and take the lot but yeah anyway so this slate is set up I've had it set up for a week now for the um, on my regular walks around here I found this really nice old tree stump, really gnarly old thing with lots of moss and lichen on it and I thought it might make a nice backdrop for an image a nice um, setup uh, what it is, I'll show it you, we're here now it's nice to see all my kit still here you probably see it there behind me the camera and a couple of lights the trail camera but where where I've been where I've had it set up is here and you see this little hole oh the camera's still firing you see this little hole here I've been putting a few peanuts down there and uh, on my trail camera I've been getting wood mice which is what I wanted I've been getting wood mice going in and out uh, the hole goes right down through the tree stump I can see the badgers have been here I've had to block it up with a few stones to stop the badgers pinching all the peanuts but as you can see they've been last night and pulled the stones out so anyway I'll just set you to one side I'll get these bags off me back and I'll explain the setup Right, well, as I say, I've had this set up for a week now. Uh, the first four days, I had it set to night time only because I was just concentrating on the, um, I had the, I had the sensor set just to, to fire at night time only. I was concentrating just on getting the wood mice, but um, I looked at some of the trail uh, footage off the trail camera uh, the middle of this week and there was a there's been a nut hatch and a great tip going down and getting the nuts out so I thought while it was set up here I thought I'd maximize my chances of getting a decent photo so I, I'd set the uh, the sensor to fire 24 hours a day day and night so uh, now that we're back it's uh, the moment of truth let's see if um, let's see if I have indeed got any any more images of the mice and uh, any Im images of the nut hatch or the great tit so I'll just get you in position around the back here and we'll have a look on the back of the screen right oh, here we go I'm not sure I'm not sure how well you can see the screen there's probably a lot of glare there um, Let's have a little look and see what we've had. No, I think that's my feet just now. Oh, there's a nut hatch. There's the great tit. Okay, I'm not sure if these are in focus. I've got a very shallow depth of field, even though, oh, there we go, we got. Nice one of the wood mouse there. Eh? Zoom in. Just emerging out of the hole. Nice one. With lots of false triggers. Oh, and another one with the mouse just emerging out of the hole. Oh, that's great. Very good. Oh good, so we've got quite a few. I'm not going to go through them all. There's quite a few. There's quite a few on there. But, uh, with this weather, I, I just want to get packed away because I'm getting absolutely soaked. Right, so as I said, I've, um, I've been using this as a two light. I would, it's a two light setup I've had with this this time. Um, I've been using this one, this flash to the right. For the camera um, as the main as the main light and I've been 
just had a little fill light a little bit lower down just over to the left of the camera here just to fill in some of the shadows underneath um, I've had the had it on a 50 mil prime lens uh, I think the settings are around about 1 2 50th which is the max uh, flash sync speed for this camera um, at f10 and I've had it down to ISO 100 um, normally I like to keep the ISO a little bit higher to keep the flash power down but um, because the flashes are so close uh, they're set on a very low power anyway and I've also got um, honeycomb grids on both of the flashes just to try and concentrate the little pools of light rather than lighting the whole mind you that uh, where I've got it framed it's only a small a small area um, where the hole is in the tree stump and looking by some of them judging by some of them photos on the back as long as they're sharp that's the critical thing when you're working up close is getting that depth of field um, as long as they're sharp I'm quite confident I've got some nice images there so I'm going to get all this packed away um, <laughs> get myself and all the kit dried off and um, hopefully get it back out again sometime next week Before I put my best images up from this setup, I would just like to say, as always, a great big thank you to all of you who have subscribed and also for all the kind words that are often left in the comments. They're all very much appreciated. I hope to catch up with you again soon. Work commitments and weather permitting, of course. Right, well, that's it from this mud bath. Um, Thanks for watching, um, hopefully this weather will clear up a bit and it's a bit nicer next time I'm setting my gear up or taking it down. It's pretty grim out here at the moment. Um, so I'll leave you with the, the best of my photos from, last, from this last week and I'll catch you again soon. Take care, ta-da!